Public art is very important. It is often underappreciated, yet public art works can have unanticipated impacts on viewers and communities. In fact, it can give a community a sense of identity. It gives it a sense of uniqueness and gives it some incentive to visit the, the place. Um, the great thing about public art is it's free. You can experience it with your friends and your family uh, without having to pay like a, an admission to a museum or something like that. It also provides a great background for our life. So Today, public art is even more valuable, and it's now become the new, old, cool thing. In fact, Chris says it's actually called a beacon for tourism. People can take a drive through cities and towns across the state to see public art. It's a great way for communities to communicate any message. There's like the Stephen Adams mural. Everyone knows that that's in Film Row, and it you know, communicates that we're proud of our, of our Thunder basketball team and all of that. Uh, and then we have, you know, basketball fever here in town. It's also about highlighting the work of newer artists. One of my favorite recent projects is the With Love Project that our nonprofit teamed up with uh, a local uh, activist uh, named JB, is a musician and rapper. And we were able to work with six black artists uh, and give uh, artists of color uh, an opportunity to paint and increase their, their voices. Bob Palmer is the premier mural artist in Oklahoma, and his work can literally be found all over the state. Someone just driving through can learn a lot about the community just by viewing a mural, because most of the time people put in the mural what they're proud of, maybe what their history is. The Plaza Walls Project is particularly popular in the Plaza District. You can see over 25 murals all stacked side by side. In Miami, Oklahoma, the project along Route 66 is also an historic endeavor. And we've been able to add over 20 murals there in the last four years. A large art project Chris did can be found in different districts throughout Oklahoma City. This one is in Bricktown. We're standing in abstract passages. Uh, which is the title of this 10,000 square foot mural. Uh, the, as you can see, the entire underpass has been painted, uh, even every single column, and it's all completely different. There's no repeating patterns or anything like that, so it's all completely hand done. There is such a thing as the afterlife of public art, but by people visiting and enjoying the art, that life and the stories will continue. People can celebrate the art in all communities. What we love about it is that it really brings everyone out and everyone can rally around the artwork and say, yeah, we all agree, no matter political views, no matter age, no matter your point of view, we can all agree that a little bit of color on the wall is a good thing.